So you got yourself you got yourself a new iPhone uh, iPhone 13 Pro is the big one that we're talking about. But you may have gotten an iPhone 13 or a Max or a Mini or you have an iPhone 12 or whatever it is. Um, and here's here's the thing that I have realized uh, with the 13 Pro is that not all MagSafe accessories, chargers, what we're looking at today, are uh, created equal. No, we're gonna we're gonna tell you why. So uh, I have an iPhone 13, 13 Pro. This is the key one that we're talking about, the Pro. Uh, and here's an iPhone 12 Pro. And if you look, if you look at the camera, the 13 Pro comes really close to the MagSafe ring, whereas there's a lot of space here with the 12, right? 13 really close because that huge camera bump and the size of the phone. 12, you got a lot more wiggle room, let's say. So um, I have used MagSafe chargers in my car since MagSafe became a thing. I really like them, it's easy, pop, pop, right? And on the 12, I have been using this one right here, okay? And uh, it works, it works very well. And you can see here, you know, the little, it fits right underneath the camera, right? Good magnetic stick, lovely, love it. 13, mm -hmm. so we take the exact same charger, line it up, click, and as you can see, hopefully you can see that, there is, there's, there's, it sits on the lip of the lens. So what happens is there's a gap now between the actual case and your uh, MagSafe charger, which means it still sticks. But it happened once already that I hit a really good bump in the car and it just, because it's not as sticky, magnetic as it should be because it's it's lifted on an angle, right? So on the 12s uh, and all the 13s outside of the 13 Pro, right? The Pro Max even is okay because it's big and the cameras are up higher. Um, that all works. So we, or in my wife's vehicle, we use an ESR uh, MagSafe. It's one of the arms that sticks to the window. In the Camaro, which is what I drive, uh, I don't like things on the window because if anybody's driven a Camaro, the front window is very narrow and it's, I just, you want all the room that you can just to be able to see. So uh, ESR sent us out the, the Halo Lock magnetic wireless charger. And this uh, should be compatible with the iPhone 13 Pro. And as you can see here, uh, 35 bucks. This is on amazon.com. There's a, it looks like there's a five, $5 off coupon, which is cool. And I have some coupon codes down below that you can add to possibly take off even more. So that's really cool, as long as it functions well. So there's the box, wireless charger, you know. Um, as it says here, fast charging enabled, uh, MagSafe chargers, 18 watts, quick charge adapter required. So if you wanna get full speed out of it, you have to have an adapter that will boost this because you are plugging it into your, your car. So if you have a five watt charger, well, you're gonna get a maximum of five watts, right? That's just, it is what it is. Uh, powerful and uh, quickly switch between portrait and landscape navigation with full ring of magnets. That sounds lovely. Okay, let's, uh, let's open her up. Because the key here for me, because the, the ESR one that my wife has in her vehicle works like a charm and it works like a charm on the iPhone 13 Pro. It fits very nicely. So this one is vent vent connected, I believe, which should be very nice for me. Uh, Halo lock charging guide. Here you go. Just kind of shows you, shows you all the goodness there that you need to do to uh, write phone case, choosing the right cable, where to use this charger, etc., etc. You have a, what is this? Really small Halo magnetic car phone mount. Again, kind of step by steps on how to set it up. And last but not least, uh, looks like your user manual. Um, honestly, you stick it to your vent 
and uh, that's it. Now just make sure, right, you have a, a good vent for a vent mount. Now they do have ESR, if you go to their store on, on the Amazon, they have the ones that stick to the window, again, which is what uh, we have in my wife's car, because my wife's vents are narrow, and they are this way and not this way, so they don't stick well. The vent style doesn't stick well in her car, so we had to go to the window style, which is a big window, so it doesn't matter. Me, on the other hand, the vents work better. So, we have the charger itself, okay? We have the mount, I would guess, itself. Nice, nice and easy packaging, right? Yep, that's gonna go in there. This is a, what is this? I'm not even sure what this part is. Does it just give you some extra clamp? Maybe this pushes down to open it. And then this. Oh, I see what this is. So once you get it in position, so your vent's like this, right? And you get it there and, you, and it's in this piece you can kind of push it to kind of get that angle that you need. So if it's like that, it gives you some pivot room, right? Pivots it down, pivots it up more. I get what this is doing, right? So it just, it's like a brace because you are going to get weight on it, right? So this goes on the bottom. Does it show a picture of that just to see? Does it show a picture? Yeah, there it is, right? Secure mount. So you see, you see that little brace right there? I got you. I'm with you. Cool. And then, of course, you get a nice, good-sized USB-C, USB-A to USB-C cable, which is important because, well, depending on where you're charging this, right, you may be running it into the back of a glove compartment or wherever. So, very nice. So, today, what we're going to do, we're, we're, we're going to trust it works in the car because they all do. If they don't, then send it back through Amazon and get a refund. But this is just going to go like so. You clamp that in there and then you figure out your angle. And you give that a snug. Right? Good. Tighten that up. Nice. And again, this would be your brace. And then this comes off. See, what I like here, I don't know if you guys can see that. There is a good lip right here. See how far the MagSafe charger is from the base? If you look at the previous one, there, whoops, there wasn't any. It's flush. I think that's the issue. The flush looks nice, but because of that, this this doesn't sit well. So with this, if we take it, ready? And yeah, see, it would normally still come up over the camera and you can kind of see it there, right? It's high, but because you were smart enough to kind of give it this lip, that lip allows that camera not to be an issue. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Even the up and down, right? Because that's that's the one that it, it has the issue with. It's just sliding. This one, easy. This one, I wouldn't do with the other one. No. All right, guys, uh, that's a win because it is designed. You can tell it is designed with the iPhone 13 Pro in mind, and because of that, well, it just works. Yeah, and. Uh, they work in the car. I could show it to you, but they work in the car. It's, it's, you plug it in, it's fine. Just make sure, like they said, if you want it, it's very reliant on the charging brick that you use. So if you have a 5 watt that you're plugged in, that's it. If you have a 10 watt, if you have an 18, 18 looks like it's its maximum. So, which makes sense because the iPhone can only do 20 to start. And I think that's physically, physically connected. So, there you go. That's, that's good. That's going in the car. That's going in the car. Yes, it is. All right, my friends, I will put links to uh, this product on Amazon.com if you guys are interested, as well as uh, some uh, links below to some of their other gear because ESR sent us some uh, coupon codes for you fine folks if you want to take advantage of them till the middle of October, October 15th, I believe. Yeah. All right, my friends, that's it for me today. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, more more iPhone 13-ish goodness coming up, um, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you later on. Maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. There you guys.